G'day and welcome back. Uh, just finished uh, Bevel Square for Trent and time to move on to another project. This is a tailstock chuck I built probably 12 months ago, around about 12 months ago I suppose. Um, I built it in a hurry pretty much. I got asked to part off some stainless pipe um, and I had no, I don't have a like a, a pipe center or anything like that. So I spent a bit of time, made this chuck up. I did originally have a three three jaw on it, but then the three jaws off my old Mars Hercules lathe and it was absolutely worn out and crap. So I put this four jaw on it. The only time I used it was to do this pipe, and. Um, that didn't work out very successful. That pipe's nowhere near round, and I was just fighting against chatter, and yeah, it was a mix of a lot of things that went wrong. Um, as you can see, it didn't even have seals or nothing in it; just a simple dust cap. It was pretty, pretty primitive. Um, anyway, getting back onto the story. The other day, I was asked to machine down some pins for an excavator bucket, and they didn't have any centers in the end of the pin, so a good opportunity to use the chuck again. Um, got all the pins lined up in the lathe, and I'll show you a couple of photos here. Anyway, they turned out good in the end. Like they were spot on. Um, I had to machine 10 mil off off the center portion to fit into a Komatsu quick hitch, or quick hitch on a Komatsu which are 80mm pins and these are 90mm so that all worked out well but this chuck I've screwed up somewhere along the line and it's got when it's spinning this chuck's got a fair bit of wobble in it or the, the, yeah it's, it moves a lot job runs square but this has got a wobble in it it's just poorly machined I believe and probably the bearings are a bit small there are only um, wheel bearings that I had laying around here that come out of my trailer I bought a, yeah, bought a trailer once new, new town and trail and had a crook hub on it from new so I replaced the bearings and hubs anyway these bearings still looked all right whether that's the issue I dare say it's more my machining is the issue um, so I contacted Max Grant from Swan Valley Machine Shop over in Perth and asked for, if I could, um, if he had a set of plans for the tailstock chuck he built. And if you follow me, you probably follow Max as well. And the tailstock tail stock chuck he built is absolutely beautiful. Um, Max was more than happy to pass me the, the plans and very grateful of that because, mate, these are bloody awesome. Even down to the weld prep, you know what you need for weld prep a lot. So this is not going to work out as nice as Max as I can guarantee. I haven't got damn skills, but I think I can do a lot better than what I've done here. Well, I hope I can do a lot better than what I've done here anyway. Hopefully it'll work out okay. So what I've decided to do first up is it's the weekend. Can't be bothered going into town to get the bearings to make the arbor and everything first. So I'm gonna make up the two pieces that make the hub that the chuck fits to, uh, get them ready for welding. Um, we've got a piece up in the lathe at the moment to do this, I mean you can see it there, to do this portion here, the center portion. Got a big piece of plate, 20 mil plate to do the, um, To do the chuck back plate so that's what we're going to get on with now as all my projects go if the plans are in metric I always convert them over to Imperial it's just the way I work so this has to be in the plans max is written down 76 mil um, finish size is 75 once it's all welded and machined as a whole so I've got 314 thou 
to take off this. Seventy six oh five. Close enough. This does have to have a shoulder put on it now. This shoulder is going to be twenty mil long, down to seventy millimeters. Seventy point oh five. That's close enough. When I we'll put a weld prep on here now. I do need to put a small undercut in here so when it goes up against the, um, the 20 mil plate it's not going to interfere. Definitely won't interfere now. I'm going to take this out of here now, cut it off. Clock this back in on the fore jaw with this the saw cut end out. I can face it off to length, which is 62 mil long, and then because it's been clocked up again, I can put the center bore through and it'll be concentric to the outside. Well, the bandsaw didn't cut real square on me today. That's all right. I'm not worrying about it too much. I did leave about five mil on there, I've got to take off.
I really need to do something about getting some flood coolant on this load pretty badly. That's an inch and five sixty-fourths hole I just drilled. I didn't bother filming that, it's just yeah, drilled a hole. Um, I'm going to bore this out to 40 millimetres now. Thirty-nine point nine seven. I'm only going to call that good enough. This piece can come out now. Mm. Pop her on. Okay, this piece is going to have a bore in there 70 millimetres that this shoulder here is going to slide into and then be welded to this piece here. Get boring. So I, I changed our boring bars to a 12 mil bar that I could snug right up fairly tight. This insert I seem to have better luck with than this triangular one does leave a much nicer finish. I'm not getting any chatter out of it. It's actually going quite well. It's a 25 power depth of cut. And I've have to take another thou out of there which left an absolute shit finish but it's not 
the best fits now either. But anyway, it is what it is. It's not going to affect it, it's all going to be welded together. So what I need to do is put the weld prep on this side here. And then what I'm going to do is hold it in the centre and then um, machine the outer portion. Good enough. Well, preps on. There's the weld prep, should be good. So, what I'm going to do now is hold it this side facing out and clean the face up, obviously, and then. I've got to put it in the in the three jaw, and then get this out to, to down to a rough. Just so it goes to round, and I well, once it's all welded together, and I can take the outer diameter down to a you know to a proper yeah to the right dimension of the chuck, which is 160 mil. And just like that, it's nice and round. So that is. Well over 160 at the moment. I'm going to leave it at that. And then once it's all welded together, then I'll machine down the outer to the final dimension. Okay, so what I've done, I've got this all clamped up, ready to weld this V in here. And I'm going to stick weld this up. So, um, yeah, ready to go basically. So... It's all clamped up nice and tight, all sitting pretty even, so I'm not too sure if I'll show the welding of it or not. I ain't that good of a welder. Right, I've got it welded up. I didn't show it. It's not real. Yeah, I'm not much of a welder. Anyway, it's welded on the outside, on the top here. This side's not, the other side's a bit rough. It'll machine up. But I've made it so it's proud, left it proud, so I've got a bit bit to play with the machine off, but it'll do. I just um, I use a stick welder, weld that up. It should radius up okay. I'll let that cool down, and I'll spin it up in the in the lathe yeah. and um, start machining it to final dimension. <laughs> 